Brought to you by the Asphalt Emulsion Manufacturers Association, or EMA. This is a high-level overview of asphalt emulsions and asphalt emulsion chemistry. Before we get into asphalt emulsions, it's important to understand a little bit about emulsions in general. An emulsion is a dispersion of one liquid in another liquid, where the two of them stay separate, usually with droplets of one liquid in a continuous phase of the other. This can be an oil and water emulsion, with droplets of oil in a water continuous phase, or a water and oil emulsion, where droplets of water are in an oil continuous phase. Emulsions that might be found in your home include butter, milk, mayonnaise, moisturizer, and car wax. Why do we make emulsions out of asphalt? Well, asphalt is an extremely viscous oil that needs to be heated above about 130 degrees Celsius or above about 265 degrees Fahrenheit to be able to be pumped and handled easily. Whereas if you make it into an asphalt emulsion, it's actually going to be liquid at ambient temperature and is much safer and easier to handle. There are two main ways of using asphalt emulsions for pavements. One is to spray it onto the road. The second is to mix it with aggregate first before applying it to the road surface. In addition to water and asphalt, there's also emulsifier in the asphalt emulsion. The water and emulsifier together are known as the soap, and the emulsifier is used to stabilize the emulsion. Asphalt emulsion is made using a high shear mixer, most often a colloid mill. You need the high shear to be able to pull the asphalt apart into small pieces that can then be mixed with the soap to form the emulsion. You may have heard the expression, oil and water don't mix. Much like a vinaigrette, after you've shaken it, but before you've had a chance to put it on your salad, asphalt and water without some form of stabilization will quickly separate. I mentioned that emulsifiers are used to stabilize the asphalt emulsion. Well, what are they doing? In general, emulsifiers allow you to make your asphalt droplets charged. This could be a positive charge in the case of a cationic emulsion, or a negative charge in the case of an anionic emulsion. The idea behind putting charges on these droplets is that if they all have the same charge, they will actually stay away from each other. Opposites attract, and like charges repel. Much like the magnets you may have played with in school, where you tried to force the two same colored ends together, but could not get them to stick, asphalt emulsion droplets that have the same charge, when floating around in the emulsion, may move close to each other, but will repel each other before they get close enough to stick. That's how asphalt emulsions are made, but it's also important to understand how they break and cure. This may happen in storage, but it ideally will be happening once they've been placed on the road. There are three main ways that an emulsion can break or cure. The three main ways that an emulsion can break or cure are neutralization of charge. This is often due to pH changes once the emulsion is used. Another is attraction to the aggregate that the emulsion is mixed with. This is particularly the case when the aggregate is actually the opposite charge of the asphalt emulsion droplets. In that case, then the opposite charges will attract each other and cause breaking and curing to happen even more quickly. And finally, once the water has left the system, the emulsion will be cured, even if these other processes did not take place. It is important to match the properties and reactivity of the asphalt emulsion being used to the application it's being used for. For example, rapid setting emulsions, which are the most reactive emulsions, are commonly used for chip seal applications, where the aggregates are single sized and have a low surface area, and thus a low degree of reactivity. Using a reactive emulsion helps the chip seal cure more quickly. However, in a dense graded mix like a slurry seal, there's a high amount of surface area and a high degree of reactivity, and so trying to use a rapid setting emulsion would quickly break the emulsion before it had time to coat the aggregate and before it could be placed on the road. Instead, a slow setting or a quick setting emulsion is appropriate for these applications. For most applications, either cationic or anionic emulsions can be used, however they should never be mixed, as the opposite charges will be attracted to each other and the emulsion will break before it is able to be used on the road. If you are interested in more information, please contact us at 630-942-6579 or go to AEMA.org. Many more resources are available, including frequently asked questions, pocket guides, and industry training course opportunities.